back again. Uh, this pin here is the one that gets pushed out when oil pressure increases and allows this pin to actually push in. Um, this little spring-loaded one is locked in here and it helps push things out by default. Um, but when the oil pressure gets high enough that the solenoid pushes these guys, then this, this uh, pin actually gets pushed into this guy so that it, it, it combines these two like this. But what we're going to do in this case is actually reverse the order there and put this guy all the way in. This is kinda, we're going to put him all the way in. And then we're going to put the spring-loaded one on the outside so that it just holds that pin, which is already locking things into place, into here. Um, now I'm going to have to use two hands for this because you have to do both of them at the same time and lift them up to put them in position so that it'll hold so the spring doesn't pop right out and then go put it back on the head. But I want to give you an idea of that's really all we're doing is reversing these two guys and that will permanently lock this, uh, this rocker arm into place so that you've got uh, full-time load on the cam that uh, or from the cam full depression of that particular valve spring so that we get more air and more fuel coming in on uh, on this particular this cylinder so yeah should help with uh, with a bit of extra power um, and I believe it'll also help with reliability because we're not gonna have as much carbon buildup